himself right now, so he's like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. This is all going to go away once everything falls into place. Or don't trust me and trust yourself and do it the negative way. 
Either way, you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Why not do it the good way? Because either way, you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. So I want, you to, I, I want to teach you how to do it my way. My way will always bring you pleasure. Disobey me, you're on your own, buddy. I can't be responsible for that. Because I'm only on one side of the line. You cross that line, you're held accountable. You stay on my side of the line, nothing bad will ever happen. Mm -hmm. You can trust me. This is what training is about, about trust. He has to learn to trust you guys. When he learns to trust you 100%, He's never the number one to ever challenge him on anything. He's always going to be submissive to you because he trusts you, because you know more than he does. Mm -hmm. All the other ways that he did things before is because he didn't trust you. Okay, he trusted himself more than he trusted you. He trusted the behavior more than he trusted you guys. All right, drop the leash. Walk away. Just walk away with it. He has to understand the rules still apply, regardless. Okay, you're going to do the same thing. You go over there and pick up stand next to him. See how he's looking at you now differently? He's seeing you as authority now. Like you're not even trying to be in charge. You just, you just are. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do anything. I, like, I, I, and you're not going to raise your voice to him to tell him command. You talk just as nice and normal, and it's obvious positive, and you're always positive. Mm -hmm. Never negative. It's not how you say something, it's because you said it. Okay? So if you whisper to him, he still has to respond. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what you're going to do is pull the leash in both hands, put the one there, and and just like that. So what, you, what I want you to do now is I want you to say his name, tell him to walk. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk right here, straight up here. I want you to take your left hand, pop it straight back, turn, walk over there, and tell him two ways. Tell him to see, walk. Walk. You like your hands. Put your hands down. Good. Pop it straight back, left turn, left turn. Oh, left turn. Good. Two, two plays? Just, just two plays. Just two plays. Okay, no, I'm going to go back to him. See, now pick up over here, this side. So now what we have to is teach you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because he, so this is how the process works. If dogs understand one way of doing something, a very clear way, we have to say that clear way to make it easy for them. They're animals. They don't understand maybe, probably, couldn't. They understand black or white, right or wrong. That's mm -hmm. all they understand. And like the clearer we make that process for them, the easiest for them to make sense of it. Okay? So again, what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk, you're gonna tell them to walk, you're gonna walk out to the end of this carpet, pop these straight back first. Okay, straight back, turn, walk towards the place and tell him two places, go all the way with him. Okay. And make sure you stay on this side of him. Okay. And he rolls on the place, he sits and lays down, you just stay there with him. And then, and then I'll tell you to drop the leash. Right side walk. Deep walk. Pop it straight back. Two places. Two places. Stay with him. Good. Now drop it, walk away. Okay, now he just establishes the rules. He the same with you when you say it. Okay, that's how fast it happens. <laughs> no, again, my job is to create the right balance. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little off, but I've been I've been very, very, um, very close on perfect. Well, you're right. also assessing us. Yes. As well as him. <laughs> so go back over to the to stand next to him. Oh, we got. Oh, we got to stand next to him. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to teach him your style of walking, mm -hmm. okay? Now, you're going to only have to do this at the beginning. So, when you come here, I want you to make a left turn up and down this carpet. So, when I tell you to make a left turn, you're going to do the same thing. Pop me straight back, turn. I want you to stay on the carpet. He has to leave the carpet to get out of your way. Okay. He has to learn that when you turn, he has to move out of here and give you free range to walk. Okay? So, every time I tell you to make a left turn, that's what you're going to do. You're going to slide your left hand down with me, pop straight back, turn, he'll move out of your way. And once you do that a few times with him, he'll do it automatically. Okay. okay? All right, welcome. Keep walking. Keep your hands nice and loose. No tension whatsoever, just like that. Make a left turn, pop straight down. Good. See how he's getting out of your way? Just walk a little more. Pretend he's not with you. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, make another left turn. See how he got out of your way? Yeah. Just walk a little more. Pretend he's walking a little more. He's already getting out of your way. Pop it. There you go. Good. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Now going to stop there. Okay. So now, his job is to submit to you right here and stay with you. Okay. So what I'm going to do, hey buddy, hey, 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 buddy. Hey. She just got him back to your left side. Hey. Hey. He's not allowed to leave you now because you gave him a command. Zeke walk means you stay connected to me and you don't leave me for any reason. Just bring him over to your left side. Good. Just stop right there. Good. Just relax. Good. So when you stop here, he can do, he can do three things when you stop. 
You can stand, sit, or lay down. You don't give any commands there because he's already on a command. Z walk means you stay connected to me on my left side. When I stop, you stop and submit. You can submit standing, sitting, or laying down, or, 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 or all three of those things. But you can't leave me for any reason. So he's allowed to choose stand, sit, or lay down yes. unless I say something. Unless you give a command. But you don't want to give him a command because it's still painful. Okay. okay. This is, so this is what you guys got to understand. This, you guys don't have to kiss his ass to listen. He has to listen. That's his job. You don't have to praise him mm -hmm. if you don't want to. Okay? That's the, the, we don't get praise from the law. It's the law. Mm -hmm. that, that isn't praise. It's from the law. Yeah. Okay? That's what you're clarifying here. Alright? If you guys praise, it's not because he has to, he's listening. You praise because you just want to, not mm -hmm. because you have to. Alright? Make that very clear. What you guys want to establish in first is a very strong working relationship. What you guys have wrong with him is you have too much of a friendship. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's why there was always the challenging concept. Okay? Friends can't work for friends. Okay, it doesn't work out well. Okay, <laughs> so you gotta establish a very strong working relationship. I'm the boss, you're an employee, I tell you what to do. Okay? Once you establish that very clear, then you can create a great friendship to them. Now, it mean if I, yeah, so, I boss. yeah, so the friendship now has value to it because you have the respect part of the friendship mm -hmm. and you have the friendship part of the friendship. But, but because you created the respect part first, that's the one that stands the most. Right. Okay, but if you create the front, exactly, if you do the other way, all of a sudden, well, you know, you're my best friend, why should I listen to you? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? It's like, and you know what? The problem is, is that on both parts, I'm going to feel bad for disciplining my best friend, and my best friend is not going to take me seriously. Mm -hmm. Because we're best friends, we get around, we hang out, we do this, you know, it's like we know everything about each other. We, you can't take each other seriously that way. He doesn't do it for a reward. He does it because he respects you. He respects you and trusts you. That's the thing. It's not about rewards, trust. It's saying that you know more than I know. I can trust you. I know when every time you tell me to do something, that feeling never shows up. But when I want to do myself, that feeling shows up when I do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know right from wrong, because I'm a dog. Mm -hmm. But you do know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. Because society is made for who? Not animals, for us. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important for us to direct the dogs on what we want right and wrong, because they don't know. Any bad behavior they do, they have no idea what they're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. They're a dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it doesn't mix it in domestic society, so it's wrong. You know, it, it, it goes into, into conflict with the way we live. Mm -hmm. Okay, but to them, it's they're just doing behaviors that they should get the right to do. Right. They don't know any other way. Okay, so what you're going to do now, let me move this over here so it doesn't slide. So you can just tell them, um, so you can walk again, walk up here, go up here, tell them, to, and, and guide them there, tell them two places. Walk. Just go right over to the place, tell them two okay. places. Drop this walk away. That's the job. So if we didn't establish point A and point B, point C would have been a mess. Right. Because he would have seen you the exact same as you dropped him off. But because you're going to destroy, yes, yeah. but because we destroyed the foundation of him seeing you guys for the first time, we destroyed all that baggage mm -hmm. that you guys had. And that's how fast back we can destroy baggage. Okay, because we started with Kingsley. Okay, so again, I have to pick each dog that I train. I have to figure out what level of discipline do I have to get this dog to me with. That when I get them with the owner, it balances just right. Mm -hmm. Okay? And like I said, it's a very hard because each dog is different. I mean, some dogs are some dogs are sleepers. Some dogs I feel bad for them because they're so timid, and I, and I feel I feel bad for them because they're so timid, and I, and I kiss their butt a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then when they see the owner again, the truth comes out, and I can't do enough. And all of a sudden, I got a nightmare on my hands. Okay, so he, he was a problem. He was a pretty easy um, kind of um, experiment. He was a, really easy to understand because his character is just there. He's not hiding anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he wasn't trying to, 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 to um, be like submissive or this or that. He was just on me. That's it. Yeah. And I said, okay, that, um, I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's easy for me to balance that. But when they're, when they're skittish and scared, but they're not that way at home, but they're that way here, and then they don't come out of that shell ever, yeah. then it's hard to determine how much of this I need to do with them to get to that right point. Mm -hmm. Okay? So everything with him now, from this point on with you guys is going to be 100% clarity about I say, you do. That's it. If you hear it one time out of my mouth, 
and you have to do. The reason why we deal with that when it comes to the laws, why we deal with that being so strict, is because if they listen the third or fourth time to say something, they need on their terms, not ours. They're not being obedient to us. So for us to be 100% sure to be being obedient, they have to listen the very first time to say something. They have to guarantee they're being obedient to me and that command. Okay? That's why everything is always one time, and you're very clear. When, I, when it comes out of my mouth and hits your ears, I need to see a response. If, you, if I don't see a response, when my words hit your ear, the law is going to make a response for you. So you better beat the law. Okay? Do my way, not the law's way. Okay? That's why you tell them, trust me, don't trust the law. Trust me. Because nothing negative will ever happen to you. You can trust me 100%. I'm always positive. Right, so now I'm going to do um, one of the, um, that, he, that he knows both things, um, I use both things with him, either food you can say with him, for him to walk, or um, walk. Okay. Okay? So I, I only use for down the class. Okay. Okay, he, he doesn't have to hear that stay commands, because every command you give him is a stay command. Okay. So two plays means stay. Right. Plots means stay. Everything you tell him is that, that just that, you don't have to say anything else. Okay. All right, so go back over to him, you just stand next to him again. And always when you go over and pick up the leash, the clarity of what you just did just now is saying that this leash has no power. Me coming over here has no power. I'm just a distraction. The command I gave you five minutes ago still has no power. And you're only going to ever hear it one time. All right, so now I want you to so try try to move your with it so you're going to tell them, um, see the boost. And then do the same thing. See the I'm going to kick that leash back. Yeah, you don't have to do it anymore. He's already conditioned to you. <laughs> All right, why don't you stop there and tell him plots. Plots. Drop this walk away. Wow, that was full point. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a whole new dog. That is why like that. It's all going to go away. That is the reason for the why is because remember, he's still in that he's limbo so side that you guys like, I, I want to be with you guys, but that's not yeah. what He's not happy just to follow rules. He's like, I'd rather be like you guys, yeah. but she had all this goes away in, in, in no time at all. Yeah. That's why, that's why I don't correct it, because I'm fear that you can correct something that is not a major problem. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the baby in him coming out now, because I took, I took that strong character away from him, mm -hmm. so now he has this little loving baby side <laughs> that, that he comes out at. Because he, he's submissive now. He will yeah. submit to you guys now. So the challenge is gone. Or go back over to him, pick up the chest stand next to him. He's still on this command, so even if you pick that leash up, he has to stay in this command until you release him. Alright, so the only time he hears, the only thing that overthrows a command is another command. Alright, so, so as long as he's on that plot, he has to stay there until you tell him to take the foos again. Okay, so tell him to take the foos. Take foos? Keep your hand nice and loose, no tension whatsoever. You just don't, yeah, that's going. Good. You should never feel him even on a leash. You said you got the oil by itself? Let's send it back to his place. Place? No, no, just not. Just place. Just place. You gotta get him. Just on your left side. Yep. Direction. Two legs. Good. Keep the leash in your hand. Okay. Because he doesn't know the rules apply with you yet, still. You just can't just throw him a cigarette. You have to be ready to back what you say. Okay, so when you stand in there, two places, you're gonna keep that leash in your hand to make sure he goes there and submits to it, we're gonna make a submit. Right. Okay? Letting it go is giving him the option. Yes, for right now. Right. Later on, once he's clear with right. the rules with you, yeah. see, with us, we, we don't have to, we never put a leash on anymore. Right. Keep, because we don't need to, because he understands when we say something, it's law. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we don't depend on the leash at all anymore. Yeah. Alright, so that's what you guys are going to eventually get, but the leash is to help you guys clarify when the law steps in that you guys help him through that discipline. Because the thing is, is that as soon as he disobeys, the correction stands. So your job now is to help him. Get, over, get, get rid of that pressure as fast as possible by getting him back to his spot where he got, got corrected from. So say he broke place, okay? That correction, since he leaves their star, it doesn't stop until he gets back on there. Your job is just to help him get back on there as soon as possible. Not talking or anything, but just guide him back on there to make that negative go away. You're always the safe person. That's what I heard. You hold it until he obeys and then it gets... Yes, but it's not a hold, that's not going to tap, 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 tap. Got it. The reason why you don't ever hold it down is because he can't think. He has to be able to think and problem solve what you're doing helping you, okay? Right. And you remember, your, your job is always to help you get away from that negative. That's your job. You're, you're teaching any result of this, and you guys teach them how not to get disciplined by the law. 
how to self-correct yourself. How to go up. I know the last time I did that, I got the results. I'll stand the sideline. Okay, that, that, that sideline is yours. Okay, so always make sure that that's the whole end goal here is not how many times you correct them, it's how many times you don't have to. Okay, because we don't want a lifestyle of correction. That's why we can teach them all to problem solve and be held accountable to themselves. That way they know themselves, we don't always have to tell them something and they know right from wrong without us being here. Okay? All right, so drop the leash now and walk away. So it's going to be your turn now. You just go over there, pick up and you stand next to me. So the weak link became the strongest link. <laughs> So you're going to do the first exercise, which is to walk him up, make a left turn, and tell him to place again. Deep walk. Deep walk. Good. Make a left turn, pop straight back. Good. Two place. Two place. Excellent. So when he goes, this is so, well, the things that you guys are looking for in each behavior, you see when he goes through he submits immediately, that means he's, he's considered you one of the things he He's not going there and then thinking about it. When he goes there and just sits or stands, he's still thinking about, I might not be staying there. But if he goes there immediately and lays down, he says, I'm submitting to this. All right, so you do the same thing up and down the carpet, making those left turns. Big walk. Alright, tell him the boost is in the back of this place. Take boost. 
So this process, this is the foundation work right here. So once this process is done and clear, then the next time you guys, it's the, it's the, the other part is called the free all where, and then the, the self-connection will finish, okay? Um, what's gonna happen with those two principles is that the, the free for all he gets no commands. Okay, you guys come into the room, he's loose in here, and he has to obey you guys and follow the rules without you guys saying anything to him, okay? Because that's where when you guys come home and he meets you guys, he has to have respect for your very space all the time. He has to learn to respect you. If you sit down and want to just hang out by yourself, he has to see that you're not, you're not inviting him to your space in the boat, and he'll come next to you or lay down with the body or go about his business and never not come over to you. Okay? When you invite him over to you, he'll come over to you because you invite him to his space. If you don't invite him to his space, he'll do his own 